Hello there guys, this is Solid Shepherd bringing you another video. And in today's video, we are checking out OBS versus XSplit. Now a little background real quick about this. The whole reason I'm making this video is recently I've been trying to get into like, you know, Skyrim or not Skyrim. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online. Every Elder Scrolls is a Skyrim, guys. Um, it's Skyrim Online. Anyways, um, so, and also I, I really like Tower of Fantasy, uh, but I know my computer, my laptop, my poor laptop was really struggling with that, trying to stream it uh, with XSplit. Cause I've been using XSplit for years. A uh, little background, I did originally use OBS, but I just felt like it was a little too open source, if you will. It was like really chunky to use is the best way I could explain it. It was, it, 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 it wasn't very user friendly back then. And so I paid for XSplit Gotta use XSplit. Now, if you have a beefy computer, XSplit's great. Um, XSplit will work fine. But, like I said, it... Well, well, I'm gonna show a comparison, okay? I'm gonna show a comparison here, just real quickly. So, as you can see, I have OBS open right now, and we are actually recording. And you can see that OBS... Over here, my memory. Because the problem was, is when I was using XSplit, and I was trying to play Elder Scrolls Online, it, uh, I kept on running out of memory. Uh, ESO kept on crashing because my, my my laptop kept on running out of memory. So we can see right here OBS while actively recording is using 300 and about 346 megabytes of memory. So now we're going to open up XSplit. And we're just going to cut the video ahead. Okay, so as you can see, we have a layer open here that does not even have anything really on it. You know what? Actually, let's just create a new layer right here. Scene seven, it's got nothing. There is just a very basic, there's nothing here. And as you can see with XSplit, this is just base, okay? This thing is just existing. We're not recording, we're not streaming with it. It's literally just existing on my desktop right now. And the memory it is using is 1,000. It basically hovering around 1,170. So we're closer to 1,200 than 1,100 megabytes of memory. Whereas OBS, which is actively recording right now, is sitting around 270. So OBS uses, or better, better way to say this, XSplit uses almost four times, about four times, the amount of memory as OBS. So clearly, <laughs> you see we're at 85% memory, but if we go ahead and we close OBS, or not OBS, but XSplit, see it even takes a second to all shut down. We go ahead and close it. Our memory drops all the way down to about 69%, 70%. So, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be deleting XSplit because my laptop just can't handle it. If you have like 20 plus gigs of memory because uh, you got a beast gaming rig, like you don't have to worry about this. This isn't a problem. But for your average Joe who's trying to get into like video gaming content and they need to run games on the PC while streaming or recording, I mean, with recording, if you have NVIDIA, you can use Shadowplay. You can, NVIDIA has a built-in recording. I don't suggest using that for streaming just because it is very limited in uh, how you can set the stream up as far as like chat and all that. Um, but for streaming, definitely OBS. OBS is actually a lot more user-friendly. If you look and see now than it used to be, if you look and see, it is actually very, very similar to how XSplit looks. Um, you know, you, you have the sources here, you can create the scenes right here. It is a lot more user-friendly than it used to be. So really, there's almost no real reason to even consider using XSplit, even if you have a computer that can handle it, because XSplit, you have to pay uh, basically uh, yearly for the license to be able to use it. It's a, like a subscription-based thing. Um, OBS is completely free. You can download it and it just takes way less resources. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, it's been Solid Shepherd and until next time, I should go.